hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can solve hex is not working and emulator runs in emulation mode while running your android application so you made your cool application and while running this application you encounter this error which says hex is not working and emulator runs in emulation mode and then there will be uh, some more detailed error which uh, in my case says emulator the memory needed by this virtual machine exceeds the driver so this is important information for solving uh, the problem but i will uh, show you the broader way to check what can be the problem and how we can solve it so first of all what you need to check is while you encounter this problem that in your sdk manager so just uh, open uh, your sdk manager by clicking this button here uh, and in your sdk manager make sure in uh, the extras category this option which says intel x86 emulator accelerator ha a x m installer is installed so the status of this should be installed so make sure this intel x86 emulator accelerator is installed which is in extras category right so if it's not installed just install it okay the second uh, thing you need to do is you need to uh you know you, in the first line in this green line shows the path of the sdk where uh, what is the location of sdk in your computer so just copy this path not the full part path but the path till sdk so till here just copy all the path till sdk after tools you know not need to copy it so till sdk just copy this path and then just open your file browser and paste this uh, path there and press enter and this will open your sdk folder in your computer in this sdk folder there will be a folder called extras and in this extras there will be a folder called intel and in this intel there will be a folder called hardware accelerated execution manager which stands for ha a or h a e m or h e h a x m okay go inside this folder and there will be a executable file here which says uh, intel h a x m minus android you need to run this program if you haven't already done just uh, do it once and uh, if you have already done that also you need to run it and after running it just click next and i have already installed this so it says uh, change or remove but if you are running it for the first time it will uh, just install this uh, uh ha a or h a e x m setup okay so if you have already installed it just go to change and in here may make sure uh that this and this are same so just uh keep a note of uh, this uh default value of the ram okay so in my case it's 1 gb or uh, 1024 mb this is important so you just need to note this uh, value somewhere and remember this value because we are going to need this value further okay and make sure everything is okay if you, it's not installed just uh, click next and click finish right so if it's installed then just click finish okay so make sure this is installed and once it's installed now we are ready to uh, you know run our program but there is one little thing we still need to do and that is we need to go to our avd manager so just click avd manager and here is the default emulator provided by android studio for us and in here uh, we need 
to check the settings so you just need uh, to click this small added button or this pencil uh, button here click this button and in here go to show advanced settings and in here check for the ram so memory and storage check for the ram here and this right now in my case is 1523 and what we have seen while running this uh, setup that the memory it requires is 1024 mb or 1 gb right so we need to make this same as this uh, value which uh, we got while running so once again i will run this and once again we are going to check so this value 1024 and this value should match so i'm going to change it to 1024 okay it may uh, you know vary in your computer depending upon the speed so make sure this one while you run this uh, intel haxm android executable and this while you uh, run your avd uh, configuration and add it this to 1024 so this should match in both the cases right once uh, you change this just click finish and once this uh, creating uh, or updating avd is complete we are going to run our application once again So now when we run our program once again, see uh, the message uh, was hacks is not working previously and now we are going to run this uh, program once again. It will take some time to run and when it runs, this message is going to change I think. So this executing, this is executing my task. And now I will choose uh, my default launch emulator and click OK. And now see the message here. So hopefully this message will not appear once again and we will see the success message. So now my program has been started and my uh, sample application will run now so in this way you can solve this problem related to hax emulator and i hope you will uh, solve this problem by the procedure i have uh, sh shown you so that's it for now please rate comment and subscribe and bye for